Iowa heads to Minnesota and gets the W. 13 to 10, the Hawkeyes get the win here. Um, Iowa was outgained by 119 yards and still won this ballgame, which is, it is the quintessential Kirk Ferentz game where you get outgained by over 100 yards and you still find a way to, right? Like, <laughs> this was just mind-blowing uh, watching this game. First off, it was a lot of fun to watch this game, right? Because it's it's not, the this was not anything close to what South Carolina and Tennessee were putting on the field. It was not anything close to what USC and UCLA put on the field. This was gritty, dirty. It was cold. Like, it, it was, this was fun. This was, is what it was. Um, Spencer Petras was pretty good. 15 out of 24 passing here. Uh, 221 yards. They could not run the ball at all here. Which, you know, not not super surprising that they couldn't run the ball. Um, you look at the team stats, 59 rushing yards on 28 attempts. That ain't great. That ain't great. Uh, the defense got stops and turnovers whenever they needed them. And, uh, and that's exactly the Ferentz way, right? Minnesota missed a field goal. Mo Ibrahim... Fumble on the Iowa 9. Uh, Kaliak Manis, I had this game on mute, so I didn't get to hear how you actually pronounce his name. He's the backup for uh, for Morgan, of course. Um, he came out, he was intercepted with two minutes left at the Iowa 33, and Iowa actually was able to drive 42 yards to kick a game-winning field goal. Like, how this how this Iowa team wins game is beyond me. I have no words to figure out exactly how this team is capable of putting up enough points week in and week out to actually win ball game. And yet they do it over and over and over again. It, it is still... To this day, uh, not <laughs> Scotty, of course, appreciate it. Tosses in Super Chat. I appreciate that. Uh, it is beyond me how Phil Parker does not get more respect and more love from everybody around this sport because what he does, and of course the special teams as well here, this offense had 280 yards of offense. Minnesota, 399 yards of total offense. And in all of it, all of it for Minnesota was uh, Ibrahim. 39 carries for 263 yards rushing, and he had a touchdown. If you put up 263 yards rushing against this Iowa defense, you have put in a day. You might have put in a week's worth of work in one game. That, that was insane to watch him be able to struggle and get out some of those yards. So lots of, uh, lots of fun on this one, but Iowa able to get it done again. And now we are set up to where if Iowa wins against Nebraska this week, they are 8-4, and four and they are back in the Big Ten title game, and I don't understand any of it. I get, I don't understand any of it. So, ah, it is what it is. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.